And Mayor Hogshead has been a friend of the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department ever since he became our mayor. So we welcome him to bring words of comfort to this family. It was 2017, just a week before Christmas. A cold wind was whipping through the east side. But inside the IMPD Training Academy, there were nothing but warm smiles. It was the commencement ceremony for IMPD's 16th recruit class. And more than 50 recruits had gathered. If you look at the photographs taken that day, there are a lot of smiles. But one shines like a beacon. It was Officer Breanne Lee. Bree to her family and friends. Lighting up that room with her smile just as she had a million times before. I was honored that day to administer the sacred oath as Officer Leith raised her right hand. Last Thursday, our community's heart was broken as she fulfilled her promise to a grateful city, an oath to protect and serve, a promise that no matter what, she would always answer the call and run toward the harm, knowing that if she did not, harm may come to others. My prayers go out to Bree's family and friends. As our city mourns the loss of one of its protectors, a family mourns the loss of a daughter a sister, and a mother. Likewise, my prayers go out to Officer Lee's other family, the brave men and women of the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department, who today honor a treasured colleague and friend. And while a global pandemic may keep us physically separated today, the sun rose this morning on a city that has come together as one, united in admiration for our fall, fallen hero. Since last week, the stories of Bree's selfless service have poured in from the east side, delivering Christmas gifts to families in need, buying dinner for a victim looking for hope. Small gestures from a big heart, lives touched and forever changed through simple acts of kindness. But last week was not the end. No. Today is the beginning of a journey we take on behalf of Officer Lee. Here at this track and across this city, her brothers and sisters in blue stand ready to keep watch over her legacy. But it is up to each and every one of us to do our part. Where she may have fed those who were hungry, now we must provide the meal. Where she may have soothed the suffering soul and stopped violence before it began, now we must do the same. And where she would have loved and nurtured the light of her life, her beautiful son, so too must our city come together to wrap our arms around him and his family so that they may know that his mother's love will be as timeless as her memory. If we do these things as one city, if we follow the path Officer Leith blazed toward peace and providence, we will not just honor this truly heroic woman, but we may bring to fruition the seeds of peace that she planted throughout her life. May God bless Bree. May God bless the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. And may our gracious and loving God forever bless the city of Indianapolis. Amen.